Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube. Hello golfers and welcome to the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining me and today I've got a phenomenal way to practice how to stop a steep shaft easy, fast, and really, really a great way to do it. So what we're going to do here is I set up a shaft plane in the back of the stance here. So you can see that matches my seven iron. I have a target line and then I have a club head path and a hand path. So you can see how this is pointed to the right. This is gonna be my downswing. Most golfers, what they're doing is they're taking the club too far in and then the steep shaft is coming down over their neck. They're swinging too far to the left and that's an issue. You're gonna get a lot, of, a lot of messy shots, a lot of thins, tops, slices. So this is a practice station that I use often in my uh, teaching here at Deer Creek Golf Club. So when I'm going back, what I want to do is I want to take this club back. I'm going to take the club back over the top of this back uh, shaft plane stick here. I go to the top of my swing. From here, I want to drop my hands and arms. I'm bringing my hands and arms down. And you can see that that club head is far behind my body. It's completely opposite of what I just showed you. Now I'm going to come back into the back of the ball so you can see the path of the club. So the face is looking to the right, the path is to the right. And then when I come through over here, I have this pool noodle to stop the club. So my hands are touching the pool noodle, but my club head is out in front of my body. You can see I've still turned my body, turned my hips, turned my shoulders. But you can also see when I finish over here that the golf club is still closed to the shaft. There are so many golfers out there I see every day, I teach a lot here at Deer Creek, and what happens is that they take the club too far inside, come over the top, get steep, hit it off the toe, and then they swing left. They would hit, they would basically hit this stick on the way down and this stick, this noodle on the way through. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rehearse that a bunch of times, go nice and slow, over the top of the back stick, up, bring the arms down, back into the back of the ball, and then stop before we hit the noodle. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit one here and just kind of rehearse that whole thing. And that ball will never slice. So you can see that my club head is on the outside part of my hands, my elbows are together, I didn't touch the noodle, and the club face is closed to the shaft. So I created a path that's to the right and a face that's closed to the path. That ball drew, it's gonna draw every single time. Okay, so that is what we want out of this practice station. Now, there's some things in the setup that you want to do before that as well. So as I set up to the ball, I still, I have to have a good grip. So if you watch my grip videos in the past, you'll see what that is. So you get yourself set right here. I hold the club up in the air. I know my face is closed to the shaft. My handle's forward. My weight's on my left leg. Then I'm swinging the club up and around my body bring my arms down. You can see that shallowness of the swing. My chest is facing the camera. I have my right arm underneath my left. The club head's behind my hands. My weight's on my left foot. And as I come into the back of the ball, you can see that that path is far enough to the right that the face is always going to be closed to the path. And that is how you hit a draw, everybody. It's not swinging and trying to twist your hands over. We don't want that that actually makes the path go to the left. So again, do a couple rehearsals here, go to the top. There's so many good things in this. My shoulders have turned fully. So I've turned my shoulders fully. I've turned my hips fully. My arms have some hand depth. My hands are behind my shoulder here. I haven't lifted my arms up. We don't want that at all. That's bad news. So we go back around us here, bring the hands down. You can see how far that club head is away from the stick here. When you come down steep, that club head comes down right over the top or it comes down and way outside the ball. So again, not what we want at all. So we go ahead, set up, here's my grip. Here's my takeaway, there's my hand depth. I made a full pivot, bring the hands down, bring the arms down and boom, I can hit that ball and stop right here. Again, pretty good shot right there. So this is giving you a really good guide of the swing and how to make it happen because what happens is that if you don't have feedback, 
okay? If you don't have feedback in your practice, it's hard to know if you're getting better. So I always tell people, film yourself down the line, face on, put up some obstacles around you here and, and just keep doing it. So if, even if I go slow, I can still come down and chip the ball. So if I even just do a small one here, so I just chip one, I would say that was a perfect shot. Now, none of these golf balls have started left and curved right or curved right at all. All of them have hooked to the left. And that is what you want. If you're a slicer, if you're a person steep, hits the ball on the toe a lot, this is a phenomenal drill for you. So I just tried this practice station here. This is the down line version. I'm going to bring the camera around face on so we can see it from the front. All right, golfers. So now we got the face on version here. And you can see the setup. So again, the club and the swing, the swing is an arc around your body. You're never swinging in a straight line. You can see these sticks are angled off the target line. This is on an angle here. I put the noodle here to stop myself if I try to, I don't want to hit the club head into the noodle. That's where a lot of people make mistakes. They, they try to twist their hands, they spin back, and look at where they're hitting that. However, the face is closed, but they're still slicing the ball. How could that be? That is the fact. So what happens is that, what happens is that people move their weight back, their path goes to the left, and the ball starts left, but the face or the path is even further left in the face and you slice the ball. And that's no good. We don't want that at all. We don't want to wait back. We don't want the path to the left. And so this practice station really gives you that ability to get rid of all that stuff. So again, I'm going to go ahead and set up to it. Take it over the top of the, the stick in front of me here. Bring my hands around. Get that club underneath. Let my hands and arms kind of fall. Remember, this is also exaggeration. So I know a lot of people will say, well, you got all this movement going on. This is exaggeration. Exaggeration is what you need if you're tr having trouble in your game. You have to go a mile to get an inch. So back around, up the shaft from the inside in the back of the ball. So you can see I'm not spinning my hips, not moving my hips like this. I'm not spinning around here on my right leg. My weight's forward. My hips are forward, my handle's forward, and you can see my chest and my shoulders are still closed. Okay, so when I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit soft one here. So you can see is that I can control that every single time. And when I come back around, you can see the face is closed to the shaft, but I did not flip the, hand, the, the club head past my hands. I do not look like that. I come around, I'm keeping the radius, the face is closed to the shaft, I'm working around and I have not hit this noodle yet. So this is something I guarantee you, if most people put this noodle out over here, they'd nail it every single time. So let me try that again for you. I'm also putting it on a little T too, because putting on a little T is something, you just wanna work on the motion. You don't wanna worry about anything on the ground. You just wanna work on the motion, hit the ball in the center of the face, see your ball flight that you wanna do. But everything we're doing here Okay, as I go back, I'm extending, tilting, turning my body. Okay, my hands and arms are going around me, going in. Bring my hands in, bring my hands and arms down. You can see my weight is forward. My, my right arm is underneath my left. My handle's in the middle of my body. Okay, instead of being this way, most people look like that. Handle's in the middle of my body, hitting down and out at the back of the ball. Swinging around on the arc, and I'm not hitting the noodle. So I'll go ahead and do that again. And I hook it every single time. There is not a chance that I will slice that golf ball. So use this practice station. It's simple. It's easy. Just some alignment sticks, pool noodle. That's all you need. It's going to make your game better. You're going to stop the steep shaft. And I know you're going to have more fun on the golf course. I'll see you soon. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I know it's going to help your game. And please like, please subscribe, please leave a comment. It helps me grow my channel. And check out my friends in the description below at Airways, Squares, Performance Golf. I know all those things can help you as well. And we'll see you soon. Join me on Airways for only $5 per month. You're going to get a lot of step-by-step -step information to help you play your best golf. The link is in the description below. I'm adding new videos every month 
that you're going to be able to see. You'll get those videos so you can work on your game and you can have it right on your phone. You log into the Airways platform and you're going to play your best golf. So thank you again and appreciate it.